Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. I've got a huge comic book haul for you guys right here, as well as another book off of my 2019 want list. I hope you guys are ready. Here we go. Before we get started with the haul, I want to give shout outs to two brand new YouTubers to the comic book community. First is Dak Hammer. He's got about 55 subs and he's been showing amazing books that he's finding over in Europe. Great YouTuber, great guy. Check him out for sure. Link is in the description below. The second shout out is for Comic Universe 91, a brand new YouTuber and fairly new to collecting it seems. He's just a really great guy showing some good stuff and already as a brand new collector, he's being focused on what he really wants uh, to collect and what he wants to search for. So I really respect that as a new collector, it's something that I wish I could go back and do myself. But check those guys out. The links are in the description below, Dak Hammer and Comic Universe 91. So a couple weeks ago, I get a Facebook message from a buddy who's kind of a buyer and seller, who is a picker, who's a hunter of almost everything collectible. And this guy is like the American pickers on the History Channel of my hometown. He actually knows those guys, picks with them, uh, goes to shows with those guys, but he came across several long boxes of comics, about a 9,000 comic book collection. I spent a good chunk of a Saturday morning looking through all of the long boxes, picked out a short box full and we made a deal on the entire box, but I'm going to show you a handful of those books. The first book is a Superman Forever. I picked it strictly because of the cover. I want to check this out. It's late 90s. It's 1998, so I'm not quite sure how the story will be. This is about when I quit collecting and reading comic books for the first time, but this is a beautiful Alex Ross cover and I had to pick it up out of curiosity's sake and if not anything else, just for the cover. There was this Vampirella Lives number three, beautiful J. Scott Campbell cover, had to pick that up for the price. There was this Gamora swimsuit special number one, uh, once again, another J. Scott Campbell cover. Then I found some Adam Hughes covers. First one is this Zorro number three, Adam Hughes. And then I think I've seen this on 64 page specials, recent, uh, one of his recent videos, this is Lady Rawhide number three, an Adam Hughes cover, and I found three copies of that book. Then I found the Sensational She-Hulk number 52. Once again, another Adam Hughes book and one that I've always liked. Found some Wonder Woman. This is Wonder Woman number 140. And one thing I've always loved about this book was it has the Trinity, the DC Holy Trinity with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. I'm a sucker for Wonder Woman and Superman in a relationship. Really liked it in the New 52. Thought it worked really well. This is Wonder Woman 141, another great Adam Hughes cover. Found another copy of The Green Lantern. This is 201, The Green Lantern Core. And there's a lot of first appearances in this. Most notably is the first appearance of Kilowog. I found two copies of Crisis on Infinite Earths, number one. Really great George Perez and Marv Wolfman story and artwork. I found three copies of Deathstroke the Terminator, number one with a great Michael Zek cover. These are really good if Michael Zek's at your con and get these suckers signed. Every time I see this book, I think of Cat Ren figures. So huge shout out to Cat Ren figures. Uh, this is the Huntress number one, the first appearance of Helena Bertinelli. Found a bunch of these Eternals books. These are great Jack Kirby artwork books, great covers. There's a lot of first appearances in these and with the movie coming out, you really never know who's going to be in the movie. There are a lot of first appearances in these books and I really, to be honest, I don't know who these characters are. So I'm not gonna say who the first appearances are, but uh, look these up if you wanna know. So there's Eternals number seven, Eternals number nine, Eternals number 11, number 16, and number 17. My friends, the Comic Holics channel, Wayne and Jess have been talking about Incredible Hulk 418 for a while, the first appearance of Talos, and they've also been showing this book. It's kind of a um, companion to that. So I found three copies of the Ashcan version of that book. This is Alpha Flight 33, the direct edition. This is the first appearance of Lady Deathstrike. This is Defenders number four, Valkyrie joins the Defenders. I found two copies of the Mighty Thor 344, the first appearance of Malekith. So this book is really great. This is The Punisher meets Archie number one. What's great about this is it's the Punisher and Archie meeting. It's a crazy crossover, but I've actually been going back and reading some of the 70s and 80s Archie comic books to my daughters. They've really been enjoying me reading comic books to them. So I, I decided that, you know, some Archie and me or Betty and Veronica would be good to read uh, to my daughters. Found two copies of Bloodshot number six, the first cameo appearance of Ninjak. 
as well as Bloodshot number seven, the first full appearance of Ninjak. And this is the hot book right now. This is Rye number zero, and this kind of ties for the first appearance of Bloodshot. This next book is for all my Canadian friends. Gotta represent for you guys up north. This is Captain Canuck number one. I couldn't pass this book up. It looks great. I'm gonna bust this sucker open and read this thing. Speaking of a country's captain, I've got Captain America number one. This is the Marvel Milestone Edition. These things are absolutely fantastic. It's a reprinting of Captain Marvel number one from 1941, and these things have the original ads in them and everything. Also found the Marvel Milestone of X-Men 28. First appearance of Banshee. I found two copies of Fantastic Four number one and then a copy of Tales of Suspense 39, the first appearance of Iron Man. And I hate to say this, but one of my greatest regrets was back when I first started collecting comics. I turned down the opportunity to buy Tales of Suspense 39 because it was in such low grade. It's probably like a 1.0, and I turned it down for 80 bucks. Got some really great X-Men books here. This is the Uncanny X-Men 282, the first cameo appearance of Bishop, but it's He's on the cover there, so I, I've i always considered this the first appearance of Bishop, but technically it's the first cameo appearance. Now the first full technical appearance is Uncanny X-Men 283 with another great cover with Bishop on it. Uncanny X-Men 212 and Uncanny X-Men 213. I will never pass up an opportunity to buy these books. Another shout out to the Comicholics channel. Always see them showing Web of Spider-Man 36, the first appearance of Tombstone, and I believe uh, Wayne has about 20 copies of this book. This has been a hot book for a long time. This is Fantastic Four 11. This is the first appearance of her or Aisha. I found the Punisher 104, kind of a low print run, getting near the end of this Punisher run. Found this really great Stephen Platt crossover with Spider-Man and Moon Knight. This is Moon Knight 57. This is going for about 20, 30 bucks, this issue alone. And I bought the infamous final issue of Moon Knight. This is Moon Knight number 60. Once again, it's a Stephen Platt cover, and this is a very low printed uh, comic book. And this is a great uh, condition considering the black cover. I found another signed book, and this one's by one of the best in all of comic books. Found Marvels, signed by Alex Ross, and this book is just great. This is what inspired Kingdom Come, and so I'm really excited to read this book, to check it out. I may not read this exact copy because it's signed by Alex Ross. I don't want to mess that up or mess up this book, but this is really fantastic. This is book number one of four, and there is Alex Ross's signature. Really happy to own this book. All right, and last but not least, I hope you didn't just skip to the end because there's some really cool books there that I showed before this book, but this is a book off of my 2019 want list, and here is a reminder of what that list is. Daredevil, number one all the way down to Showcase 34. And the last time, I'm gonna actually mark that off. I'm gonna put a check mark right by Aquaman 11. I got a 4.0, first appearance of Mera. And so let's see what I got this time. All right, and to save some time, just like last time, we're gonna do one of the magical quick unboxings. Now this is kind of like a shout out to the boy who had seven and to Matt Thanatos. Uh, this isn't a wand, but uh, we can pretend it's got the same kind of powers. Um, and I'm going to hit this up against that box, and as soon as I do, it's going to drop all the packaging, and it will display the brand new comic book off my 2019 one list. Here we go. Let's try this out. Yes, and once again, super quick, efficient unboxing. Just want to save you guys as much time as possible, but if you can try to guess what this book is by the back cover, uh, you may recognize that, or you might have a big screen and you might be able to read what's going on right there. But this is off my 2019 want list. It's a book that I actually got rid of recently, and <laughs> Tony Sanders has got that book. If you want to see what that book looked like, check it out on one of his videos. But this is X-Men number 94 at a 7.0, brand new CGC case. I'm going to show you guys this up close. One thing I love about this book is it's the brand new team, the brand new X-Men team after Giant Size X-Men number one in their own title. All new, all different X-Men 94. And it's the, let's see, second appearance of Nightcrawler, Storm, Thunderbird, and Colossus. And in this issue, I read this issue recently, um, Sunfire leaves the team. Good riddance, no problem. You're fine leaving the team. But this is a grade that's acceptable for Luther Manning. Luther Manning's looking for about a 7-0 of this book. So here's a nice copy. Um, there's a little 
corner corner crease right there. Um, few spine ticks that uh, break color. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven that run up along that, but really great. Presents beautifully. Um, the top part is nice. The bottom's nice. Nice, beautiful Gil Kane cover. Let's see. Uh, Len Wine and Chris Claremont story. Dave Cockerman and Bob McLeod art with a Gil Kane and Dave Cockerman cover. So very, very excited to be able to cross off X-Men 94 off of the want list. And I'm very, very satisfied with this. This will go great with my giant size X-Men upgraded recently to an 8.0. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you skip just to the end to see this book, you may want to consider going back and checking out some of those other books. There's some really great ones uh, for your viewing pleasure. Also, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscription button. Hit that bell to be notified when there's other videos. I've already got another two hauls lined up, and one contains another book off of my 2019 want list. So check out those other videos. Hit that bell to be notified. You're not going to want to miss out. I'm going to leave links in the description below for Dak Hammer and Comic Universe 91, two brand new YouTubers, really awesome guys. Sub them up and show them the comic book community love. Also, check out some of these other videos. And if you haven't already, smash that like button. Really appreciate the love you guys show me. And I will talk to you all on the next one. See ya. Bye.